इफ यू आर अ स्टूडेंट और अ फ्रेशर एंड एस्पायर टू लर्न ओरकल्स स्ट्रक्चर्ड क्वेरी लैंग्वेज और इन शॉर्ट इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एस क्यू एल और द ओरकल एस क्यू एल एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव अ डेटा बेस इंस्टेंस वेर यू कैन वर्क और प्रैक्टिस द क्लासेस एंड एनहेंस यूर एस क्यू एल स्किल्स देन नथिंग टू वरी यू डोंट नीड एनी एस क्यू एल डेवलपर समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड डोंट नीड टू हैव एनी डेटा बेस इंस्टेंस ऑफ यूर ओन इन ऑर्डर टू लर्न द एस क्यू एल सो इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक यूज ऑफ ऑरकल लाइव एस क्यू एल यू जस्ट नीड टू हैव वन ब्राउजर ऑन यूर कंप्यूटर इंस्टॉल यू डोंट नीड एनी अदर टूल्स इंस्टॉल you can just log into the livesql.com by oracle and you can learn the concepts or you can execute your sql queries and enhance your sql knowledge that is for free of cost now we'll see how we can do that i'm currently making use of microsoft's edge browser and you can just query like this livesql you can use any search engine in the search results at the top you will get this livesql.oracle.com hyperlink click on this So once you click on that, you will be landing into this web page that is Oracle Live page, and the page looks something like this. I am recording this class on second of February, twenty twenty-three. Once you land into this page, click on this sign in. It will prompt you to enter the username and password details. Let us fill our username and password at gmail dot com and our password. once you fill click on sign in suppose if you are signing in for the first time you will get a prompt to accept their terms and condition just agree to it before agreeing it is well and good to read all the terms and condition what oracle says and also if you don't have any oracle account created you can register with your gmail or any personal account and create one oracle account then you can make use of almost all the freely available resources by oracle so once you sign in next we have to click on this start coding now click on this so it will take you to the sql worksheet page so from here you can work with the sql worksheet you can save your code you can have a schemas you can go to the tutorials you can have a code library and whatever you save it will store the scripts over here now here like we do with sql developer or any sql worksheet or the tools with the help of live sql worksheet as well we can execute the queries for demonstration purpose i will execute one query that is select sys date from dual now we can just click on this run in order to execute this statement now if you just track this window over above here you will get what is the sys date so like this we can create our tables and we can learn the concepts of sql with the help of this live sql which is available free of cost and you don't have to have a high end laptop or a computer in order to install sql developer or any other such tools you just need to have a browser installed on your computer so this will execute similar like what we do in the sql developer tools now here also i am putting the same query let me just run this there is a spelling mistake over here let me just correct and run Select this date from dual. So as I told, I am recording this class on sixth of February, twenty twenty three. So if you are a fresher or a beginner and you don't have any ATP, ADW databases, then you don't have to worry. Then you can start your SQL learning journey today itself. That is free of cost. If you want to know how to provision the ATP database on Oracle Cloud infrastructure, you can check out our previous classes where we have in detail explained how we can register for a free. oracle cloud infrastructure account how we can sign into our oci tenancy how we can provision the database how we can create the vcns so this is not the scope of this class so if you are only interested on those topics then you can check out our those classes now if you want to save those scripts whatever you have worked on then you can just click on this save here you can name your script name and if you want the visibility you can select accordingly private means you are the only person who can access publicly shareable means suppose if you are working on some script and you want your team leader or your manager to have a look on the script then you can share with this if you want to make it available publicly then you can go for this approach so most of the time you will go with this private description if any you can populate this is for test script once done you can just click on this save script Once you have saved your script, and if you want to have access to your script, then you have to click on your My Scripts. Just click on this, and there will be a script 
which you have saved that is the session 01 i have to just click on this if you want to edit attributes just click on this edit you can edit the attributes over here and you can see what and all statements you had on this script if you want just click on this edit and you can edit the statements over here and apply the changes it will reflect and also the response you will see over here also there are a couple of options available for the scripts you have seen that is on the right top corner there is an action if you click you can download the script you can remove the script you can just re sequence the scripts okay if there are any duplicates you can just remove and if you want to delete any statements you can delete like this and if you want to run the script you can just click on this run script 